basic beginner's tenor guitar and baritone ukulele, Chicago tuning, DGBE, perfect timing, a focused approach, book one. This is lesson five, part two. And we're on page 42. We're going to just jump into, um, so we have learned so far the following notes. Okay, on the first string, the E string, we have learned E, open, F, first fret, first finger, and G. Third fret, third finger. Okay, on the second or B string, we have learned open B. Let's play that. And the first fret, C, first finger, first fret, first fret, first finger. Uh, and the D, third fret, third finger. Okay, let's move it around a little bit. Do all kinds of fun things with the guitar. Um, and then on the third string, we had learned the G open, which is G, and the second fret, second finger, whoops, which is A, sorry. And on the fourth, the D, including the ones we just kind of learned there, uh, the last page, we had the open D, the D flat, first fret, first finger, E, second fret, second finger, F, third fret, third finger, and the F sharp, fourth fret, fourth finger. Okay, what do I have here? Remember this F sharp note was the first one we learned to play using our pinky, the fourth fourth finger. It's also the first one we've learned on the fourth fret of any string, except I think I touched on a high A note there, but we're gonna get to that again here, okay? Um, anyway, so, this brings us to notes that we haven't learned on the first four frets uh, of the E first string, or the B second, G third, uh, as well as the previously mentioned fifth fret note on the E first string, which was A. Did I already tell you that? I think I did. So on the first string, E, we have second fret is F sharp using your second finger and your fourth finger again the pinky the fourth fret same string E is a G sharp okay so on the second string same thing the second and fourth uh, frets of the second string if this was C right on the first half step up it's C sharp second fret C sharp and D sharp is the fourth fret with your pinky, fourth finger, okay. Then on the third G string, we had, of course, you had the open G. If you do the first fret, first finger, that's G sharp. And then we knew the A, but I have listed down there, page 43, under the third string, uh, G string notes, the A sharp, which is um, third fret, third finger and a B, which is the fourth fret, fourth finger. And remember our tuning, that note should be the same as the next string over, the B string open, right? So they sound the same. Pinky fourth fret, third string, sounds the same. Sounds the same as open, second string, okay? That's part of the tuning we went through. So finally, just one more, the high A that I did mention back on the first string, the fifth fret, one, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And use your fir fourth finger, so you can try that. Uh-oh, that's an A note. It's the first note we've learned, and I'm noticing, noting, not noticing, I'm noting that it's that requires moving your hand up a little bit, uh, uh, up the neck a little bit, okay? Um, so let's see, revisiting some information. Make sure I have all this, uh, page 44. Yeah, revisiting some information uh, about sharps and flats. You may have noticed, this is page 44, with the notes that we either learned or reviewed on pages 42 and 43, that all of the accidentals were written as sharps. Uh, note all of the, with the sharp symbol, a little tic-tac-toe symbol. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that each of these sharp notes are also flats of the next letter above them. So uh, this was explained on page 20. 
but to review, let's consider another example. Playing F on the first string. Clown there says, let's see where, where was that again? <laughs> now play a G on the first string. Okay, so half step up from the F is this, the F sharp. Now, I'm, you may notice I'm sometimes I'm playing with my third or fourth. I should be playing the third fret with my third finger for what I'm trying to teach you right now. So, so the F sharp is uh, half step up from F play that and then a half step down from the G is G flat so that's also F sharp right so what's that saying that you can see that the F sharp and the and the G flat are the same note okay first string second fret that's F sharp or G flat so F sharp G flat is right there okay um, and try this real quickly play all of the sharp notes on page 42 and 43 and determine what each would be if they were written as a flat uh, this should be very easy an f flat or an f sharp is a g flat a c sharp is a d flat etc okay we'll let you do that on your own that's page 44 page 45 let me see uh, so while we've technically learned 21 notes at this point, uh, the high E string, and I've listed them there, you get six, including the, the high A, right? So you get E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, there's six. The B, you have same same kind of thing, open, and then the four, that's five. Next string, open, and four. Four, and one is five, and then open, low string, one, two, three, four, and open and plus the four or five so that's three so that's a five and a six that's 21 notes okay uh, if you consider that each number each sharp note above um, listed above there and I noted there are eight of them okay <laughs> little chart on page 45 we're looking at um, if you consider that each one uh, each sharp is also a flat and necessarily adds eight more notes how many you have learned at this point f sharp is a g flat g sharp is an a flat etc um so this adds uh g sharp or g flat a flat d flat e flat a flat b flat e flat and g flat Whew. you buzzed right along followed that right that makes eight so eight out of 21 is 29 okay where are we on the time so we have 21 or 29 notes really 21 but since eight of them could be either or um, I think that was right. Yeah, I think that's adequate information, accurate information. You will notice there are a lot um, of the same letters repeated. Don't let that confuse you. Uh, there are simply higher and lower pitched notes of the same letter name, adding the half step notes, the sharps and flats between the seven notes of the natural notes. Uh, first mentioned on page six gives a total of only 12 actual notes. 12 notes A through G sharp are called are also called the chromatic scale. We'll learn some scale shortly in this study. Okay. Um, so again, watching my time before we do that, and I do have a fair bit of time that I can do. Before we do that, let's just keep reading and try to muddle through this whole uh, thing here. Um, let's see, 10, 46, yeah. Uh, let's look at all of the notes we've learned, the neck locations. Um, of them, that is, which string, which fret, correct fingering, and compare that to where each of the notes are on the staff. You will notice the com that the component of some of these is a ledger line, discussed on pages 17 and 18. Okay, so if we do um, <laughs> the first, okay, the four, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, I'm showing them first as as sharps, so you have E on the first string, kind of look at your little, um, I'm going to show this to you this way first. They're all sharps, and just saying which string they're on, then the second line is kind of the same thing, but doing it with flats, kind of eliminated some of my information here. But let's look at that upper line where it says, here we go. See, the first string notes are 
E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and A, okay? And then we have on the second line, second string, B, C, C sharp, it's visible enough, B, C, C sharp, uh, D, and D sharp. And then third string, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, again, which is like the next string above it. All right, two different, that's how you tune the B string. And then the fourth string is the low D, and D, next one's D sharp, first fret, second fret, E, third fret, F, fourth fret, F sharp. Okay, so you've learned all those. And then the line below will sound identical to the line above. The difference is that it's just written with flats rather than sharps, okay? Uh, you need to be able to recognize both um, sharps and flats quickly. And then some of the extra information, as I said there, has been kind of pur purposely altered or omitted from the bottom line. Um, and noting that you should stop and spend, uh, or uh, stop, you should spend uh, some significant time studying this page initially and then referring back to it frequently. I refer back to it frequently. Study and play the notes on your guitar or ukulele until you can play them quickly without looking at the extra information above and below the staff that I'd written there, okay? It's important to memorize these notes, okay? Now, with what time we have left, oh yeah, we've got a few minutes and I think, can I do this? Let's see. Maybe we'll get a little bit into these chords. Some Let's see, sometimes a strummed chord is shown this way. Um, hmm. I'm going to continue on with this. I'm getting a little bit off. Uh, I think I already did the CS1 and CS2 pages. So sometimes a strummed chord is shown this way with the chord to be played appearing below the melody notes and then a diagonal, sla a diagonal slash symbol indicating uh, additional even strums that measure, um, uh, excuse me, additional even strums for that measure using the same chord until it changes, like, like so, okay? Those little slashes, okay? So whereas you would have that melody, it would be like, you know, let's see. The corresponding chords on the second line there would be uh, like I'll hum the melodies like okay um, so the little the downstroke marks are there that we did discuss before little downstrokes okay no upstrokes there um, and the, and the slashes kind of mean to play the chord that's written. Of course, that requires that you would know how to play that chord, right? Um, so, returning to the very simple format of the strum pattern one, you have the count with all down chords. Um, so, this is just kind of a review. Um, so, we have one and two and three and four and then we're going to look at some more strum patterns. Um, keep an eye on my time. Uh, the second one is, I'm just using the G chord here. You can go through each chord, okay? Uh, down, let's see, it'd be going down, up, down, up, down, up. Every, every strum you hit up and down, okay? So you play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's one and two and three and the third one, let's see, I'm going to run out of time. Maybe I'll try the third one here. It's down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that was the third strum pattern. And uh, follow the directions there, any little notations. We'll come back, we're going to do the fourth one. And uh, we'll jump in on that. The fourth one is the really cool one. It's down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So, like, okay. As we close this one, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Down, down, up, up, down, up. We're done. Go to the next lesson.